Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create this table of contents in CMS pages and Webflow. So I have a list of Minneapolis web designers here, and then I have them separated by industry. So if you want to find lawyer web designers, you click lawyers and it automatically brings you down to the lawyer section. If you want to learn about church web designers, you can click churches and there's some church web designers. Um, so we're going to be doing this through custom HTML and CSS. The reason why this is a bit tricky in Webflow is because here is my blog template page. What we could do is we could add a section um, above my rich text element and then we could add a column and then we could add images inside of the columns and then we could pull these images from the fields in our collection fields. However, this is going to get really, really, really messy, especially since we're going to have to pull all, you know, I have nine images here. I, we would have to create, you know, three columns by three, and then we'd have to pull in nine images, pull in nine link blocks, and it would just get really messy doing it this way. So I found the easiest and the most simple way to do it is just to create a custom embed code um, to be able to create this table of contents. If you go on the mobile device, it's also responsive, um, goes down to one call. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Okay, so let's go into a new blog post. I just created this very simple template just to give you guys an example of what we're doing. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we have an introduction, we have table of contents, we have three sections. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create anchor links for each one of these sections. So if we go back to uh, the finished product, if you click automotive, what it's actually doing is it's creating a basically a URL for each one of these sections. Here's the normal URL, HTTPS, Digital Red Panther, Best Web Designer, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end, it's number symbol automotive. This right here is the anchor link. Um, and that's what we're going to be creating for each one of these sections. So we're going to add a, um, give it a little spacing here, we're going to add a, an embed code for each one of these, and then we're just going to paste in super simple anchor link. Give it a name, the name is important because we'll have to remember it later on, we'll call it section dash one. Okay, save and close it, go down right above section two, give it some space, and we'll call it section two okay go down to section three and you're going to do this for all the sections that you have add an embed code section three okay now we have our anchor link set now what we're going to do is we're going to add the table of contents itself so we're going to add another embed code okay and we're going to copy this html and css you can go to my website to find these um, all right so we have a very simple this is a nine by nine. I'm gonna make it really simple and just do a three by three for now, just to start out. So we have a, th or a three by one rather. So just, we'll go through some of the settings here. The width, it's three columns, so we want 33%. You can add or take away padding if you want. Um, the height is important because it shows how much space is in between. If you have more than one row, it's gonna show how much space is in between each uh, row. Um, you can change the breakpoint of the responsiveness. So say you wanted it to break down to one column a little bit earlier, you could bring this uh, up to a higher number. All right, so now let's go into each individual column. So this right here is the first column. It is, we'll just go up here to show you, it is this right here, just this lawyer block. So this is the background color, just a simple white. Here is the anchor link. So what it's done is it's created a URL. The URL of my page is slash blog slash best Minneapolis web designers. And then it gives you this pound or the number symbol and then lawyers. So for this page, we created section one. The anchor link is section dash one. So we want to change it to this. And then our slug is new blog post. So remember those two things, new blog post, section one. So Webflow automatically creates a URL that starts with slash blog. So it's gonna start with slash blog and then new blog post, number symbol, dash section one. So now when we click, 
it's automatically going to bring us to this your this section on this URL. Okay, you can upload an image through the uh, the assets or the media, and then just take that URL, put it in here, and this is going to be the image URL, which is this image that I have right here. Um, the I find 150 by 150 to be the best size, but you can play around with it if you want. The alt text is important because it tells search engines a little bit of more information about where you're clicking to. So in this case, I uh, don't put section one here, but give it actual information to what information they're clicking to. So uh, I put in lawyer web designers because that's what they're clicking to, lawyer web designers. And then the final thing is, is give them some text information. This is what users can actually see on the page. So we'll just call it section one. This is the information that's showing up right here. And then you can do the exact same thing that we did up here, down here, except for, for section two. So it's going to be the same URL. It is going to be slash blog, new blog post, number symbol section two, because that was the anchor link we set for section two. Upload a new image, put in that image URL here, keep the height and width the same for all of them, give it some alt texts, whatever, don't put section two, but give it more information, and then go over here and tell them what they're clicking into, section two, and then you can do the same thing for section three. Now, if you want to add more than three columns, you want to add three more underneath, what you can do is just copy and paste this whole thing, give it a, some space, and then now you have sections four, five, and six. What you'd have to do is you'd have to create, you know, four, five, and six sections here, and then, uh, or rather create the sections underneath, and then give them these anchor links right above them as well. Um, so that is really all there is to it. Um, unfortunately, if you go to the, we'll save draft, if you go to the blog post template page, you're not going to be able to see it. All you're going to be able to see is this right here. But once you publish it, it does come out looking like this, or at least it should. If you want to know how to do this with, say, say two columns um, rather than three, you can go to a place like w3schools.com and just find basically uh, an HTML template that should show you how to do it really simply. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you.